بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو دس ویڈیو آن اورکل اے سی ایل اینڈ اپیکس ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس اے سی ایل کانسیپٹس اینڈ وی ول ہیو اے ڈیمو ایکچولی اے سی ایل واز انٹروسڈ بیک ان اورکل 11 جی اینڈ اٹس کالڈ ایکسس کنٹرول ڈسٹ وچ از بائی ڈیفالٹ اورکل ڈیٹا بیس ول ناٹ الاؤ فار اینی ایکسٹرنل کنیکٹیویٹی تھرو پی ایل سی کویل so for that you need uh, ACL to be configured and uh, we will be discussing in this uh, session about the same uh, so normally when you are using Oracle database you will be using these packages for external communication like uh, um, consuming any web service or any connectivity to the um, exchange server sending emails etc right uh on the same side if you are having oracle apex then you will be using uh, this uh, package for uh, oracle web services uh, calling uh, external web services and or apex mail for uh, sending emails so for these both sides you need acl to be configured so normally what happens uh, oracle developers oracle i mean oracle apex developers they are not uh, connectivity experts or uh, they are not database administrators so normally they struggle uh, with uh, such thing so the purpose of this video itself to to con to to show them to uh, give them concepts of acl so they will not stuck in this sort of uh, challenges right so <coughs> if you see here uh, this is a you can see this is just a container which is our oracle database so if you see if anything from inside need to go out there is no hole it is totally closed blocked so now what to do for example i have a server where we have external this is external web server uh, in another organization we need to uh, connect to it we need to consume its uh, web services restful services so now our code is here uh, how it can connect to this server through ip or domain name so for that we need acl here to be configured now this acl will tell us this is security part actually acl this acl we will tell okay this is our username this is our domain name or uh, ip address and these are our or this is our port so this connectivity will be allowed over here connect resolve then the user who has this uh, these privileges he or she i mean uh, who is using it uh, the the database uh, user will be able to access so let's say for example here i have a user called ws web service for example so i will give access to this web service user uh, about this uh, uh, server and then it will be allowed by oracle database to connect to this at the same time let's say for example we have uh, exchange server to send emails and this is within our company i mean within our own company within our network still you need to define acl it's not something only outside the company it is within the company as well so for this exchange server also you need to define acl over here then this database will allow to connect to this exchange server okay now, normally when you try to connect using those uh, packages uh, you will get if acl is not defined this error acl denied right so for this in order to resolve it i mean normally when you are calling web services or you are send, uh, trying to connect to uh, email uh, server so for this oracle provided uh, dbms network acl admin package and in this let's say for example this is first you will create an xml file for acl xml file in which you will tell the principal which who is the user and which privilege this is the f uh, in in the, in the first create you will give one privilege at least and then next you will have to add using this uh, add privilege and rest is same same uh, acl you will provide over here username principal and uh, the privilege so if you want to give to other users then you will have to use this command to add 
for that user so if it is here apex this one another user is let's say uh, wp or ws uh, you will have to repeat this for connect and resolve whatever you want and then uh, the last one which is very important until you will not assign this uh, uh, acl a uh, host name which is our target to whom you have to connect to whom you need to be allowed which is let's say mail.erpstuff.com and since i kept both the ports null means no mm, restriction on the port any port but if you want to restrict on the port as well let's say uh, https only so you might enter over here 443 443 or whatever your uh, https port is right this is how it is and then there will be one uh, drop as well so if you want to drop the xml uh, defined or acl defined you can drop over there so now we will be moving towards the demo where we will see how we will face this issue how we will resolve this issue uh, which user need to be used to uh, connect and uh, create this ACL right let's move okay if you see here I am locally connecting to my database 19c and if you see here this is my JS uh, local user in the database and I am just connecting to my uh, apex at oracle.com where I am trying to access a department with the parameter 10 and in this if you see here this is I am using apex package down I will show you the UTL as well so let's first try with the apex package so if you see here you are since I am not using any exception so I will get the errors over here better to see so if you see here the same error is there sorry where is that this one access right this one ACL good okay now let me clear it and now I will use the database package which is UTL this is if you don't have uh, Apex okay oh it's same right that means Oracle database is not allowing to both the packages to uh, connect externally right so this is how you will face the issue now as a sys user let me show you this is my sys user and if i will see here this uh, this is the view and here we are not allowing any access to our js user so we will assign to the js user in order to use the utl and apex user to use it as apex user right so th th this is for apex user uh, <coughs> in order to understand let's say for example this is uh, if you see here a package where you can enter your name in order to get possible uh, ACL settings let me show you so let's say for example apex.oracle.com this is how you can give the access apex.oracle.com steric.oracle.com steric.com so that means in steric.com everything is accessed where it is .com and steric means any it is open you, you mean ACL is not restricting it right here ACL is restricting it but it is only allowing .com here only oracle.com you can connect but before this you can have multiple you know uh, subdomains or things like that and the here it is only apex.oracle.com nothing else so you can't change this one okay if you have the IP address if you how you can define the IP address with different um, statics and you know so this is this is the full IP no other uh, IP can connect only this IP if here it is up to this it will match and here you can have anything at the end and this is for last two and this is only 192 but other than this no restriction and this is open uh, privileges I've already showed there is no privilege at the moment assigned to the user right since we will not be using the sys so we will be using uh, this uh, so first let us try with the apex user where we will allow the host apex.oracle.com 
and this is our ACL name so if you see in the top parameter I have defined uh, are defaulted these uh, values so down this is for the drop drop ACL so since we are creating first time so drop will give the error so we will we have commented it right and this is my first uh, create ACL so next time I don't need to run this one I will be using only this one to add so here in the first I am just giving connect in the next I am giving resolve started and date I am putting it blank that means open and then I am assigning the v host which is my default apex.oracle.com to this ACL and commit right okay let's try uh, first I will be using this apex user right let's try and successfully done so if you see here now privileges if here now we got two lines over here so see if XML is same but we have two privilege resolve and connect right and this is our principal the username right who can connect there is another uh, way to check it uh, which I will share in the uh, description uh, the link of this uh, code so you don't need to worry about it uh, from erpstuff.com you can just uh, take this code okay now if you see here apex.oracle.com connect granted resolved granted so here you can see the uh, grants which is almost there so normally there are two views uh, which are one is uh, DBA network ACLs where you can take the list of your ACLs defined let me show you right so these are the ACL so this is my ACL I will be focusing on it okay so let's go to here and now I will try this it will work I or I need to assign to the JS as well okay network access denied still it is giving network access denied okay same way we will do with the UTL package as well let me clear it right that means by giving access to the apex user uh, still it is not allowing right now what I will do I have the user named uh, this uh, the, the, the user which I used to log in which is JS so now if I have to use JS I don't need to create the ACL right I will comment it out and I need to add so I will copy these twice because I need connect as well okay that you can uh, develop a script I did but for the demo purpose I'm using all this so if you see here I, I have changed this to JS because okay, this is my uh, username schema and this these are the two and this I don't need now because I've already assigned it right it's the same so I will comment it out so second time now I'm just adding over here I'm not dropping it it is commented I'm not creating it and I'm not assigning because it is already assigned right okay let's uh, now execute this one okay and commit is already there so we don't need to worry now let me come back to my apex code this is my apex code the first one let's try and see excellent now there is no error right and then let me now try because this was apex code right this is apex package and now if it, you have uh, just oracle database of course for apex also it is a oracle database but that is packages are different see in both cases now your ACL uh, is properly configured and if you see here down you are getting the response from the server this is your response okay from the uh, that server okay department number 10 accounting so this is a JSON response from the uh, web service okay now if I see again uh, using this 
right so there are privileges right this is how for the js i think in this it is showing twice so better let me uh, call this one this is my if you see here this is same acl i have not don't have any other uh, so will be adding privileges to the same and if i will check over here so i have for js user resolve and connect apex they send this right so this is what you need okay that's it and this is my acl okay and if you see here this is my host apex.oracle.com here you can have static if it is static then you don't need to do manually for uh, each uh, uh, server or external source right uh, i believe this is okay the last one is if you see here uh, even you can drop separately as a in, in the block so i'm just saying this xml if you see here this one uh, the file name it is here the same file copy and paste it is same so what I will do I have this uh, ACL now I don't need it so I'm going to drop it right so it is successfully completed now I will check is it there it's no more there let's try again first with the apex let me clear Oh, again it is same that means no more ACL is defined okay now let me connect using my UTL package same right so I've removed the uh, ACL now I can't connect outside my database please note that ACL is defined inside your Oracle database and it will allow you this it has nothing to do with your other firewalls it is internal oracle database security feature so in order to get out of your oracle database using those packages utl and uh, the apex packages to consume any web services or to connect to any database you need to define the acl right i hope uh, this will help uh, many of you please share your feedback and this code will be provided as a link uh, in the description you can just click and you can uh, see the link uh, copy or whatever you want to use but again uh, you have to use at your own uh, risk this is just for training and uh, uh, demo purposes you have to use your own internal your security due diligence otherwise you know it can i mean one small thing let's say for example if you are putting static instead of putting something then you can't blame these demos or all these uh, trainings etc right so your due diligence is very important and it is must so please do that one and share your feedback jazakallah khair allah hafiz